Just because you have acne doesn't mean you're ugly. It's not something that changes who you are as a person. I've never had the confidence before to go without any makeup on where I could see people. <laughs> I feel very nervous. This is an active area right up here. It's a huge cyst. It's been brewing for a while. One of them's bleeding. It's a pretty one, pretty big one. That one's like pretty under the skin. This one just burst yesterday. Here's one. I'm numb to the pain now, but yeah, um, it's very painful. It's like whack-a-mole. Once one's gone, another one pops right back up. So I'm like, oh, this side's clear. Like right now, this is my good side. It's my bad side. But in a month, it'll switch, and this will be my good side, and this will be my bad side. Okay, they're just recording you because you're famous. <laughs> Look, eat. So when I was in high school, I suffered from cystic acne only on my chin. Um, I had taken Accutane my senior year and up until my sophomore year of college, I had pretty clear skin. When I had came, came home from school, I started getting acne again and it just progressively got worse and worse and worse. In the past six months, it's just went all over my face. I would say the most difficult part about dealing with cystic acne is probably going out in public because I felt like everybody was whispering or talking about my acne because I would look around and everybody would at least have somewhat clear faces. Nobody looked like me. I just didn't like who I was. And I know there was good parts about me, but I couldn't find them anymore. I realized like I needed to embrace my acne and you know, start falling in love with myself again. I was getting advice from my friends, but I was like, I love your advice, but you don't get it. You just don't, you don't get it and you're not helping me. And so I reached out and created my acne page. This is my first photo. I shared a little bit about my story and what I've been going through. It was the first time I'd ever posted a photo with no makeup on to social media. I've never done that before. Every photo had either a filter or I edited it. There was nothing natural about any of my photos and I finally decided that I was no longer gonna hide. Before when I would go on Instagram, with, before I had this page, I really judged myself. I didn't look like any of those girls. I could never obtain those beauty standards that they had. And that's when I decided that I wanted to create my page and just show people that there's girls out there who look like me and they in, are trying to embrace you know, their acne and you don't always have to look perfect. A lot of people just don't get it. They don't know what it's like to suffer with severe acne. I need to make a low calorie meal for our... Make lemon chicken. That's what I was thinking. Need some onions? Uh, sure. There's times when Grace wouldn't want to get out of bed because she had huge flare-ups of her cystic acne. It affects really everything Grace does. They're not only noticeable, but they hurt her. What she has is pretty extreme. And then my wife and I don't really understand Instagram. And the fact that she's gotten a lot of positivity about it and felt, I guess, supported from it it makes me think it's a really good thing for her. This one person told me that they were like gonna jump off their roof. It was really weird. Oh. And I felt bad and then I messaged them. So what do them. you do? I messaged them because I was like, are you okay? <laughs> Before I used to not really ever look in the mirror. When I would wash my face, I wouldn't look up. I would just wash my face and walk right out. And now I look at myself and I don't really see, I mean, I see acne, obviously, but I really notice my eyebrows more, my eyes, and my nose. Hi! How are you? <laughs> Good. You smell 
nice. Within the last year, it's been really bad. Like she doesn't want to go out. I kept telling her like, you should really start her Instagram page. Like you could help a lot of people. And then she finally started it. And now like she's up to like 411 followers in like three weeks. Yeah, that's what made me think like, she's meeting people that actually can relate to her. So I thought that was really cool. What is this? It's that mascara that comes with the Itsy bag. So we're gonna go out to a bar. I'm gonna go with no makeup on. It's like the first time I've done this ever. So you think anyone's gonna be out tonight? I don't know, hope not. You said it's Monday Night Football though, so who knows? I just never went out to bars. I lost all of my confidence. I looked at myself in the mirror and was just like, I can't let anybody see me like this. I know I lost a lot of connections and friends doing that. Man, it's crowded, look at all these people. I'm just missing out, like I'm in my 20s, I, I wanna go out. How are you feeling? I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to not think about the fact that I don't have makeup on and pretend like I have makeup on so that, you know, I feel more confident walking in and just try to stay out of my head because I know that's something that I definitely do a lot when I don't have makeup on. bit of an anxiety attack. I didn't even go to the bathroom one time like to look at myself in the mirror to see what I look like. I can't believe you did it. <laughs> yeah, it was But awesome. I can at the same time. You did I'm really so proud well. of you. I think I hid in my room for too long with makeup on and now I'm not as afraid to go out in public without makeup. You know, that wasn't even bad. I'm hey, I'm still here, so. <laughs> Thank you. 